Three claps. One clap. Brandon, go over there. Ethan, go over here. Peyton, go over there. Kingsley, go over there. Holden, you two, go over there. When I blow the whistle, I want you all to run over there and help your teammates up off the floor. On the whistle, they're gonna fall to the ground. You're not gonna get up unless they help you up. Reach your hands out, you grab their hands, you help them up as a team. On the whistle. When I say blow the whistle, just fall. Back to the baseline. You guys go back. Jill. On the whistle, fall, put your hands out. Don't get up unless they help you up. Two claps. One clap. Why do we do that? Raise your hand to answer a question. Yes, sir. To support your teammate. He says we do that to support our teammates. Anybody else want to give an answer as well? Yes, sir. Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. Good. Anybody else want to give an answer? Yes, sir. Uh, to, like, to like get their attention. To get their attention? Okay. I'll take that. First, you're all right. You're all correct. I like to think of it, though, as we're letting our teammates know we're always going to be there for them. You're always going to have a chance to fall down in life, in sports, mentally. Some days you'll be sad physically, some days you'll feel weak. The good thing about basketball is it's a team sport. And one of the things that you get from a team is you get people that are there to have your back when you're not exactly at your best. I was watching in a, um, a documentary about a guy that used to play basketball a long time ago. Old guy named Allen Iverson. Oh wow, ancient times. Um, and in the interview, the guy was talking to Allen Iverson, and one of the things that Allen said was, my teammates did all the things I couldn't do. I wasn't known as a really good defender. I wasn't known as somebody that could lock somebody up one-on-one -on -one and play outstanding defense. I didn't do that stuff. My teammates did that for me because I, I wasn't good at that. But when my team needed me to get a bucket, I had their back. When my team needed me to draw 50 points tonight, I had their back, because I knew that they had mine. And it's interesting, you start to think of a guy like that and you can sometimes label him selfish. But if you're ever a part of a team and you get to know a team, you start to realize people start to have roles. If everybody plays their part and does their role, it makes the group stronger. So we do that drill. So you never forget that everyone around you has your back. If there's something you can't do, they got you. If you fall, they help you up. Does that make sense? Yes. Let me get three claps out of that. Thank you. Gentlemen, I want to work today. If you are a sixth grader, first of all, say hi, Coach Ken. Hi, Coach Ken. Everybody. Hi, Coach Ken. Thank you. <laughs> the people have spoken. Sixth grade to your coach. Third grade to my baseline. Everybody else, Coach Alex, let's go.